turkey. That would be helpful. Before I leave, I better start this vlog. Um, hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to the days of my life, is what I call my vlogs. Uh, I don't know why, I just randomly decided it one day, and yeah. So, today I'm just vlogging, I'm backing up in my driveway. Um, I'm going to Costco, I need to take an Instagram picture, and I need to get dog food. So, three things that I'm going to go do. Um, of course, there's a siren. Eyebrows look so big right now and they're so dark because I just posted on my story. I do not feel like myself today because I have my dark eyebrows and then I let my hair air dry so it's like natural, um, which I don't do often because usually, actually, it's usually because I, when I take a shower and I wash my hair, it's in the morning and I need to like blow dry it because then I have stuff to do, you know, like film or work or whatever. Um, so then I usually just do that because I'm impatient to let it dry. But last night I had time to just let it dry. I took it in the evening and uh, so now I have this and I'm just like, I don't, I don't want to straighten it or blow it out or anything. So I'm just leaving it and like I said, I don't feel like myself, but let's see. All right, but anyway, we started the vlog. Let's go. I'm listening to my playlist. You guys, I've been so into making playlists. I'll tell you more about it later. But um, yeah, I'm gonna head to Costco, I think, first. I better put it in my... Stopped at Dunkin'. Got a toasted bagel with strawberry cream cheese and then a uh, hazelnut swirl latte and Jared a cold brew. And how... This is kind of like diabolical that they would give me this burnt of a bagel. Probably why I should just stick to making my bagels at home because burnt. Trader Joe's stress anyone out for some reason being in there. Every time I'm in there, I'm just like, my brain feels like it's like in a fog because everything there's so many people in like a small space but this one is a bigger one but still it's just like chaotic i feel like because the aisles are so small maybe um but i'm so glad i haven't gone to trader joe's probably in over a year um because i haven't wanted to wait in line um since the pandemic started and everything i didn't want to every time um, I tried to go. There was a big long line and I didn't care enough to wait in it. So, okay. So, um, we are going to go now to the pet store and then we're going to go home. But, um, I found like some really good things. Let me show you. I'll show you here. At Costco, I found a few things that like, I was, oops. Um, at Costco, I found some really good things. Like, I found pillows. Save the, I've never heard of the brand Save the Planet Pillows. I don't know. Um, but Jared was, Jared keeps having a migraine when he wakes up and we think it's from his pillows. And I was like, it might be that because I got Costco pillows last time and it's just so hard to find the right pillow for you. I don't know, like even for me, I didn't really like those pillows. So we're just like trying to find good ones. I don't think we've ever found a pillow that we like love for a long time. But anyway, so I got these organic jalapeno seasoned corn and rice puffs. I don't know, I just like, I saw, I saw, I don't know who talking about it, but, um, and just wanted to try them. I got some pasture raised eggs. I don't know, I like Trader Joe's eggs for some reason. And then I got strawberries. They have the best fruit section, in my opinion. I got Meyer uh, strawberries and grapes. For some reason, Meyer, I don't know, at least near me, I've never had good fruit from, my, from Meyer. Um, it's either Kroger or Trader Joe's is what I like. Um, almond butter chia overnight oats. I'm very excited to try that. I got Jared a Greek yogurt blueberry flavor because he likes blueberry. Um, and then I got these two seasonings. The everything but the bagel because I haven't had the on brand everything but the bagel in like over like six months because I ran out and then haven't gone. Um, so I had the Kroger brand one and the Kroger one is not the same. It's like different texture. Um, and then I got Trader Joe's onion salt. I got this asparagus risotto. And then I got these um dog mint a breath bones highly digestible minty chew bones for dogs five healthy um natural brush breath fresheners alfalfa parsley fennel dill and peppermint i hope these are like okay for dogs i try i trust trader joe's um i googled it i just i don't know i don't want to ever get something bad but i think trader joe's usually is. well i'm home and it's super dark in here here we go um Jared's going to show me something out here. Sorry, I'm vlogging. Um, but we just took the garbage out. 
This is garbage day. And uh you need help. Oh mm -hmm. well, so all day long potty, but I think it's gonna rain tonight. Oh my gosh. Oh hey, Rex, you'll have to be careful. Hey, Fifi. Oh hi! You're so handsome. Cracking up, open a cold one with the boy. Oh, this flavor is the best. Hibiscus, um, the LaCroix. I like it better than the coconut one that I was trying. I mentioned on my Instagram story, but this one's better. I got get these at Costco, which is amazing because you get so many. Instead of like, I feel like at the grocery store, they come in such little packages. But anyway, it's not even that cold. Okay, guys, have you been seeing these little uh so they're like light projectors i saw on tiktok i fell victim to the talk um it's like a sunset projector i guess so what you do is you like set it up and project it we're gonna try it out right now um this is our new table by the way we just have like a few things on it but um our new table and then we got the bench right here i didn't show you guys yet um and then this is from etsy we just got it because it's like a little cushion and we want a little bit of black and white and we have a rug coming from etsy too right felix and uh but that's coming from etsy so that's gonna take like a while i need to have these curtains it's so bad um but now i'm cooking dinner but i want to show you guys the light projector so that's what we're going to do jared are you ready come here ready, ready? okay i'm gonna plug it in Eight. watch out oh my god yes <laughs> we can just keep it in here dude look at it isn't that cool? It's like, um, if you guys watched Kendall Jenner's home tour, she has that art. I forgot who the artist is, but that art in her wall. And Felix, get down. <laughs> she has this art piece, Jared. Did you watch that? Oh, I'll just show you that on her home tour, but her architectural digest one. And it has this, oh, that's going to be a cool picture. Okay, anyway, I just wanted to show you. I think, how much was this? Like 25, maybe 30 on Amazon. I'll link it down below. It took a little, it took a few weeks to get here. Anyway, um, <laughs> okay, so now, let's see. We're gonna put that in our room. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you, videographer. Um, are you okay? But anyway, now I am cooking dinner. What I'm going to make, I'm gonna show you guys. Where the heck, where the heck do I put you? I never know where to put you. So I'm gonna cook this. This is like one of my, here. Let me show you over here. It's a lot better in the background. Um, so I'm cooking this tonight. This is like my lazy dinner cook. Sorry, it's so dark in here. Hey Google, can you turn on all? Okay, she never works, but this is what I'm making for dinner. This is like my lazy cook, like when I don't want to like cook from scratch, but it's still really good. So this is this riced veggies, um, cauliflower rice. Uh, very yummy. This is just like my green giant in the freezer section. And then I have these frozen dumplings that I like to put in. So I make that and this together and that's my dinner. These vegetable and chicken dumplings, dumplings, they're so good. Um, so I'm gonna cook that really quick and then we're gonna, I don't know, I haven't really talked to you all day because I've been working and just like, yeah, doing random stuff. But I, but I figured I haven't really cooked with you guys in a minute, so like, why not, right? Um, I'm gonna do this. I have this big pan that Jared got me for one of my Christmas gifts, and I am obsessed with this pan. I don't know what it is. It's like super nonstick. Where'd you get this pan from? Sonoma, William Sonoma. This thing is, it is huge. But anyway, so I'm just going to put like five of these dumplings in, and then it comes with like little sauce packs, which I already have one, oops, which I already have one in the fridge, so that'll be for that. I just put it all in one pan because we're easy here. Right? Yeah. I just don't feel like cooking today. Put it on the stove. Stove for high heat. Let it simmer. You're supposed to do like each side of these. I don't know why I'm teaching you to cook. You can read the back if you get it. But so really quick, I want to show you guys my TikTok. This is my TikTok. If you don't follow me, you should at Cup of Doherty. But I did the Swifty challenge. Anyway, that's cringy, but. I also did this one um, piece of fabric. I did a bunch of try-ons, and then I did this. I'm doing a new, uh, what is this called? Like, series on my TikTok. Outfits inspired by my favorite songs. This one is Why Don't We Love Song. Love that song. Um, and I figured I'd show you because I think you might be interested. 
fashion. I mean, it's fashion. Um, and <laughs> that's what I've been up to all day. I, I made like a few of them and I've just been wanting to do it for so long. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Um, and that's what I did. So I'm going to be doing my favorite songs. Cause I have a lot of favorite songs. And also I've been making playlists. I'll tell you more about those, but I've been making playlists, like specific playlists, um, called, let me see here. I have like a bunch, a playlist for the main character in a romance novel. It's called just finished another Colleen Hoover book, trying to repair my achy breaky heart. Um, why is this so blown out? Morning drives, sipping an iced latte, feeling grateful. I kind of want a boogie, specifically 56 degrees out at 5, 14 p.m. So I'll link all of those. They have very specific vibes. I make sure I keep the vibe like to the theme of the playlist. So it's my new trend, my new, uh, not trend, my new hobby. So feel free to go listen to those playlists. But I'm gonna cook this. I need to get a spatula and then um, I'll show you when it's done. Okay, it's done. And I actually, okay, so I'm not really, uh, I don't really, I hate the taste of alcohol. I hate the taste of these two, but I'm just kind of feeling like it's like the one last one in our fridge and I'm just going to drink it. So this Smirnoff ice, zero sugar, grossest kind of, um, alcohol. I mean, I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know when I'm going to. Um, excel to the next level of adulthood of like liking the taste of alcohol. I've tried so hard. I've tried wine, tried champagne, I try liking things. I did have a lemon drop though at um, a restaurant once and I did like that. It's like a lemon drop martini, I think. I don't know. But um, I'm gonna drink this. It tastes like, it tastes like summer to me. I always get these in the summer when we go on my mom's boat and yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna down it. Just get, to get it out of the fridge, and I'm just feeling like it. So anyway, um, I'm gonna eat this, and then Jared's gonna eat his dinner. Um, and I don't know what else we're going to do tonight. I want to watch Jared. There's n two more frenemies, you guys. S uh, frenemies is like hardcore hitting journalism right now. Um, they are like doing lives. There's like another one. I I'm trying to catch up. Um, so we have like a bunch of frenemies to watch. Um. So that's what we're going to be doing. So then I ordered a pink and black wig, and then last night you're like, we're not doing that. And I was like, okay, well, I have the Joker wig already lined up. Why do you pink and black again? So I'm like, I guess I'll just go like this. You, you kind of just nixed the Joker idea. You're just like, <laughs> yeah, it's not like she says fighting words. All right, it's morning now. Um, I need to do my morning skincare um, and figured I'd show you. So this is our one of our spare bathrooms that we do not use. It's literally right across the hall from my office. So um, we bought this thing here. I showed Instagram already, but we bought this Ikea shelf unit thing um, and I have all of my skincare in it. Well, uh, most of it and I've been loving it. I kind of sectioned like all of my serums, my cleansers, my creams and moisturizers, um, masks, and then other little helpful things. So now I already washed my face last night. I don't really wash it in the morning. So I'm just going to do my other stuff. Bad angles in here, but you know. So basically I just take my moisturizer, Summer Fridays, um, and I have to put makeup on because I'm going to go shoot a look. I love the Summer Fridays moisturizer. It's so good. Oh crap, I wanted to try to do this before. I wanted to put my oil on before. This is my Lacoste, Lacoste, I don't know how to say it, um, but Lacoste um, Revitalized Face Oil. I talked about it in my Dua Lipa makeup tutorial. Oh, I love this face oil so much. Um, but Patrick Todd, I was watching an Alana Davison video. I think that's what her name is. Um, and she was doing a Patrick Tao like inspired tutorial and he put the oil on first and I was like, oh, I wanna try that. But then I just forgot. So anyway, I usually put face oil almost every day, especially if I'm doing makeup. And then I do my tinted sunscreen. So this is the Elta MD um, 
UV clear broad spectrum SPF 40 facial sunscreen. It's tinted. I don't know how much to use over a sunscreen. Um, I got this on Amazon for like, I think it was like $30 uh, after I saw Hailey Bieber use it in her um, YouTube channel, on her YouTube channel. And I trust her, her skin is so good. And I was looking for, I was going to get the um, Super Goop ones, which I've tried. Uh, well, I've tried only one before, and I liked that, but I wanted, I was trying to figure out which one I wanted. I really like that this is a tinted sunscreen, um, but that's it. Um, and then I'll finish it off with my APTO uh, Skincare Turmeric Mist. Oh, it's so refreshing. I literally love this stuff. I was going to get a mask, but I decided not to. Um, and I don't really have any eczema spots, so I don't have to put my treatment on, really. Um, but now I'm gonna go do my, oops, I'm going to go do my makeup. The, this light in my office is a little bit pink, sorry. Um, I don't really know how to fix that, but, um, I, oh gosh, my office is a pigsty, as it usually is, but like, especially right now. I have my mannequin right here because I was filming a TikTok with her. <laughs> and yeah, anyway, so I'm going to put, do my quick makeup, this, can you even see, it's so gloomy out, tinting moisturizer, except for all the grass looks really good, I'll just do a little bit of that, I'm not, I'm going to mix my tinting moisturizer with this foundation, Better Than Skin by Sephora, I'm going to mix the two, just because I'm feeling like it. I still have my lash lashes on from last from yesterday. Not only my lashes. They're my it's my what is it called? I don't know what it's called. I'm like chaotic right now. Alley oop. Ugh, I'm seriously so obsessed with this, you guys. Okay, so it's, it's like my little stack of odds palette. I'm gonna start with the bronzer in it, it's just a cream bronzer. I really do believe that it's like the best cream bronzer that I've ever, not ever, I think. Like right now, for my skin right now, I don't, I can't say ever, because I, whenever I do that, then I find a new one that I feel bad, but right now I really like it because of the way that it makes my skin look. It's just like, it's so buildable, and I don't know. But I've been putting my blush around my nose. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go in with my, cause I am gonna be taking pictures. I'm gonna use my Char Charlotte Tilbury airbrush, flawless finish brush. This, this is a really big brush, which I don't even know if it gets any of the product on it. <laughs> like that, and I'm just going to put the mascara on. I used this mascara yesterday. This crap, where is it? I don't know where it is. Never mind. Anyway, then I'm just I'm only gonna just brush my brows off. I'm not gonna put anything in them. And that's my look. Wow, revolutionary. Um, I really wish I could have had you going this way because it's way better looking. But whatever. Um, I gotta get ready to go take pictures because I have stuff to do. And um, that's what's happening. My office is like I said before, a pigsty. This. Um. So these are my outfits. I talked about them in my last video um, from Princess Polly. I love these outfits, but um, I'm going to change now. I am so into this outfit. I don't wear skirts that often, but, oh, hold on. There we go, that's what it looks like. My cowboy boots. Um, this is from Princess Polly. And then my cowboy boots are thrifted online thrifted second hand I don't know what to call it but yeah um we're going to go take pictures and thankfully the sun is out okay Felix I'm sorry all right we got to go we're teasing him um yeah wait are there Celsius's in the fridge downstairs I'm gonna go grab one do you want one I'm going to grab a Celsius we got a um little beverage cooler down here let me show you this is our, our basement kitchen, um, and I'm gonna grab, wow, that Jared organized them all, um, but, but mostly it's just for like when guests come over, like our, our siblings mostly, um, but 
Okay, I'm in the car now. But we basically only got the beverage cooler. I don't know why I'm saying this. Um, because my stepdad, um, he does something with them for his uh, work. And we got it through him, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But it is very nice to have. Not a necessity. Like, when it's cold here in Michigan, you can just, like, leave your cans and stuff in water bottles, like your garage, and then they stay cold. But when it gets warm, you can't do that. So um, we're gonna head there. I don't know how often I'm gonna talk to you, but. Guys, we just went ham at Barnes & Noble. We, I'm getting in the car now. We're going to get Starbucks, but I finished uh, taking my pictures. And then we went, and what did we find? We found so many good things at Barnes & Noble. Maybe I'll just show you a haul when we're home. I was thinking of either doing it on here or Instagram, but. We will see, but now I'm going to go, we're going to go to Starbucks. I actually had Jared come with me um, to take my pictures. Angel! Uh, <laughs> um, but Angel, I didn't think he was going to actually like be able to, so it was very helpful that I didn't have to use my tripod. Why is my thing so blown out? Anyway, um, so we are going to go, what, uh, what do I want from Starbucks? I'm going to go get our Starbucks. And... Um, I really want to show you my haul. One of the things we found was the Call Me By Your Name soundtrack. I'll show you guys. I'm so excited about this. And also a Harry Styles magazine. But anyway, um, all right, let's, let's get it go. Mm. Iced honey oat milk latte. I love this song. I need to add this to my playlist. Hold on. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Pause it. Starbucks I'll be in just a moment. Hi, okay, thank you. For you today. Um, may I please have one venti vanilla sweet cream cold brew? Okay. Please. And then may I also have one venti iced honey oat milk latte? Thank you. Uh no, thank you, that's it. Well, I'm not sure the thank you. Okay, we're home now. And you guys, this outfit is so comfortable. I just wanna say that this sweatshirt is maybe one of the most, ah, it's maybe one of the, let me see here. It's like one of the most comfortable sweatshirts ever. It's like the softest thing ever. But anyway, I just wanna show that. Um, but, hi Foof, you wanna come up here? Hi. He always likes to do that. Hi, I'm vlogging really quick. Um, but we just got home and I am going to, we actually got in, I'll show you guys what I got from Virgin Noble in a few. Um, but what else? Wait, what's in here? What is this? Oh, Drew House. Okay, yeah. Um, and then we got in a cabinet from Urban Outfitters for the basement. And then, wait, not a cabinet, a shelf system, right? And then um, a... Uh, Wait, what was the other thing? Oh, blinds for our uh, upstairs guest room, which we're transforming into a gym. So we got like some Roman blinds that kind of like what we have over there, if you can see those. Um, but we'll show you those whenever they open. But we just got home. Cash is very excited. All right, so I'll show you my Barnes Noble haul. Shall I? Shall I just put you here? And then I can sit and just show you them? Maybe we can do that. Oh wait, let me go get my other ones. I have two more. Okay, so we'll start with my most favorite ones. So, these are two vinyls. We um, collect vinyl, uh, kind of. We have like, a, well, we just have a lot of vinyl because we like music and we like vinyls. So, anyway, um, we found these two. I'm so excited. Okay, so Walk the Line, I think I've talked about this before. I grew up on Walk the Line, I grew up on Johnny Cash. My mom is a Walk the Line fiend. Like, I think I've told you guys before, she would literally have it on all day every day we had a little tiny tv on top of our fridge growing up and it had like a vc like a, a tape and she would play the tape until until i graduated not kidding and we moved and then she got rid of that tv but anyway um she still has it on her tv all the time but um so i love that I, I, i'm so surprised we don't have we haven't had this one yet uh, we are in shock but anyway then this i have never seen in person before it's the call me by your name <sighs> vinyl it has two vinyl um, I think in here, two records, and so it contains printed inner sleeves, a mini poster, and a sheet with exclusive pictures, 180 gram, um, which I think Jared said was good, um, and that's why it was a little bit pricier, but I'm so excited. I love this soundtrack. That's the, that's the reason we also got them. We all love the movies. 
well, I love this movie, Jared's never watched it, but Jared loves this movie and we love the soundtrack. And then I love the soundtrack of this movie. I, this is like one of my all-time favorite movies. And, you know, him specifically. We're, <laughs> we don't know about this guy, but um, yeah, I'm just very excited about this. I'm going to play it tonight. After Jared's done working, I'm going to blast the house with calling by your name soundtrack. Anyway, um, and then I'm going to go through these quick. So then, going into my fan um, behavior, Harry Styles magazine. We saw this at the checkout, and I was like, yeah. There's no explanation for that. Um, and then we got this game. Because Barnes Noble has the best board games, or whatever. I don't think it's a board game, but, you know, games. And so we got Mind the Gap. It's... A trivia game for the generations, Boomer, Gen X, Millennial, and Gen Z, which we thought would be fun to play with, like, um, our parents or his parents and, like, our siblings. We thought that that would might be fun and something that I know his mom <laughs> would love to play. I think he would, she would like it. But anyway, um, and then we got this little book of Gunner's, um, Gunner Stahl Portrait, who is a photographer. A portrait book. It's a signed copy, actually. Who knew? But um, this has just a bunch of portraits of, like, different artists um, and musicians and stuff like here's her I love I love so many of the artists in here um, and I think there's there's just a bunch there's Mac Miller um, Tyler the creator um, Pharrell all of the like so many cool people and they're just amazing amazing portraits and we love love books like this also, it's pink and beautiful, which is what like originally attracted me to it. And then I was like, oh my god, this is so cool. And it's attributions by Swaley and Chi Madu. I, I don't know. I don't know who Chi is, but I do know Swaley. Um, and then these other books are Live Beautiful by Athena Calderon. She is my favorite um, Instagram follow at iSwoon. You guys, if you don't follow her already, you, which a lot, I know a lot of you guys do and love her too. Um, but this is her book. I've been wanting it for so long since it came out and I'm so into it. Her, her home decor style is like just my whole dream. I love this whole book and so I have so many different um, things that I want to do to this house and I feel like this would be a great book to get some inspiration from. Um, and I just like coffee. We need coffee table books. We've been looking so hard at thrift stores and antique stores and there are just like we haven't been able to find big coffee table books. We found like small ones. Um, so when we saw some ones that we were interested in reading also, we figured we'd get them. And then we have these two, which are also so beautiful. Um, fashion, uh, this is the fashion book. It says by, it's the Smithsonian uh, edition of the de definitive visual guide. Um, it's the new edition. I think I've seen these books before. It's just like the history of fashion, different like, knowledge facts different things like that and I just thought it was really cool just like fashion through the ages and like different time periods um and different facts and everything like that so love that can't wait to read through that and then just the same kind of thing for art so um just different artists about the pieces and um different art styles and genres and different things like that genres I don't know if that's a word to describe the art uh, sectors, but you know what I mean. Anyway, so <laughs> we're home now. Uh, that was our little Barnes and Noble haul. We randomly stopped in there. Jared loves Barnes and Noble. Actually, he was, I think, looking for Pokemon cards and an architecture book, and they didn't have it there. So, um, anyway, yeah, so that's what's happening. And um, I'm home. I wanted to also show you really quick. Uh, I have, I just got a package in the mail from one of my favorite nail uh nail polish companies let me say here again but sorry that is so messy over there we have to like read it up whatever um i got a package in the mail from nail addict which is my favorite gel polishes um if you guys watched my trying to do pinterest nails video it was in that video that i used them and she sent over their whole saint patrick's day line because my favorite um color is green and i'm so excited to use them so i might paint my nails honestly because I have this really not good because it's not gel polish on right now this was like an Essie polish and it just I'm like a gel fan after using gel um actually after because the only gels I've ever used are from Nail Addict and I just can't go back like it stays on for like weeks um until I like peel it off but it does not chip like this that's the biggest thing I hate when my nail polish chips so I'd rather just have no nail polish but now that I have these so I want to try out um like I might just do I might just do a bunch of these greens in different colors of green. Maybe we should do that. Maybe I'll do that with you. 
just because I want to do my nails and yeah. So um, anyway, I gotta clean up. I'm out of breath because I've been talking so fast. I'm so chaotic. My brain is chaotic today. It's on fire today. It's like just like one of those days where your brain just is like, I don't know if this is how yours go. Your brain goes, but it's really like when I'm sitting there, I can feel it like in different sections, like popping off about different subjects. It's like do 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 like light ups, you know? I don't know. Anyway, it probably doesn't even make sense. Uh, but anyway, I did see. If you, have you guys tried the Super U vitamins by? I want to try them. I saw them at a bunch of places, honestly, but um, they're supposed to like help people with like ADHD. I've, I've heard that the stuff that's in them can help with ADHD because I don't take medicine for my ADHD and I've just been looking for like natural supplements that kind of help my brain stay on track because it's very, it's just so hard. And sometimes I get really frustrated um, with myself and my brain. So I'm trying to like different, have different things like that. I did find one vitamin that I did like for that. I don't think you guys even care about this um, because this is like not a thing for a lot of people, but um, let's see, what are my vitamins? Which vitamin it is? It's by the Ollie brand though. And it's like a, a focus one, I think it's called. Um, and I've been liking that so far, but, um, I want to, I've been wanting to try the super year you, but it's pretty like pricey and I'm like, I don't know if I want them for vitamin, like cause vitamins you're going to have to, to rebuy every month. But then I'm like, well, okay, it's for my health. It's taking care of my brain. Like I should be okay with that, whatever. Um, but I'm going to go get my, uh, what is it called? My nail thing, my nail polish remover and then my nail, uh, gel uv light so my bathroom i don't think i've ever showed you guys my bathroom our bathroom is not it though not the cutest look there's my light a little nail polish wipes all right so i got the goods now i'm gonna go paint my nails i'm just going to do these four colors you can see those i was gonna do this one but then i decided it's a little bit too dark it is green it has green specks in it I don't know. Um, I'm gonna take off my nail polish. I also changed my shirt because I get so scared of getting my whites dirty. And then I'm going to do the um, the greens. I'm gonna do each nail a different color too. Now I'm gonna let it cure. I have my thing over here on my on my table. Okay, terrible lighting, but look at. Oh my god, yes, green. I'm not the best at painting my nails, but I don't even care, to be honest. Here we go. Beautiful green shades. Um, love that. Now I have to edit the podcast because it's up late. Uh, because I've been out and Jamie's been at work. So, going to go edit that now. And, and we'll see. I just love gel nail polish because now I can do whatever I want. And I don't worry about my nails getting messed up. Um, where's my laptop? I think it's over here. I never know where it is. Nope, it's upstairs. Maybe I'll just edit it upstairs in my office. Felix, we just got Felix this new treat. Come here, buddy. Around here, and you're all that I want. Right. Don't wanna be. What am I doing? Uh, oh, we got him this treat. Wait, did I show you this? Or this toy? Oops, I'm sorry. Did I bonk you? I'm sorry. Um, But this toy, and it's called. I don't know what it's called. It's called a Starmark Flex Grip Turkey Leg Shape Treat Ringer. Maybe we'll give it to you so that you can have fun, huh? He likes mental stimulation. We also have this one. I don't know if I've showed it to you guys before, um, but this one. God, it's so dark in this house today. Every time I vlog, it's dark. But he has this one um, little thing uh, for upstairs. No, what? He's what you forget. But we have a... Uh, a puzzle for him that he really likes and I am doing a closet clear out but I'm doing a closet clear out this week because we actually have a whole new closet system um, that we're going to install Jared's dad's gonna come over and help us install we're installing new flooring in our closet and a new whole IKEA packs system um, we like custom made it on their website and then we picked it up and then we well, actually got delivered um, and so I'm very excited about that but that means that I have to get rid of clothes need to season anyway where I need to be doing this but like I definitely need to be doing this because I don't need I'm going to be doing this week one of my next videos are going to be a closet clean out and then I'm also going to like list some of the things on like Depop maybe 
Um, so you guys can buy them if you'd like, I don't know, or someone can buy them, uh, some of them, and then some of them are going to just be donated, some of them are going to be, yeah, either donated or sold, or some are going to thread up too, because I do like using thread up, um, and yeah, so I need to actually, because my charger, I guess, is not up here, which is weird, I would have brought my charger up if I was, my living space always reflects my brain, and my brain is, like, has been so chaotic lately, because I've had so much like work and stuff to do and I just can't keep up with my like office for some reason it's like just things get thrown away around uh because I, I have all these clothing racks for like one is for uh my vintage shop then one is for like youtube videos and it's just like I hope you guys what I was saying is I hope you guys don't see this and think I'm like so messy I mean I am but like I'm not you know what I'm saying like I want so badly to have a perfect room in every room all day every day but that is not my reality, unfortunately. I clean it every day, and it gets messy every day. So that is the reality. But anyway, I'm going to um, start editing the podcast. It's a short podcast, so it should be all right, but whatever. We'll see. Hopefully my phone doesn't die, too. I have 7%. That's nice. Uh, anyway. Don't want to be no one you forget. Don't want to be... Well... It's reached the end of the night. I finished editing the entire video, um, and I figured, you know what? I'm just going to end it off here because it's a pretty long vlog, 36 minutes, I think. And uh, so I'm going to put it out tomorrow, which is very exciting um, because I haven't been out of vlog in a minute. So hopefully you guys like this. Let me know if you guys like my vlogs, if you like them long, if you like them short, if you like me. Like, well, I don't know. See, because I don't know if I'm really capable of a short vlog because I talk so much and... I... Oh, now that's cute, Felix. Oh my god, that tongue, dude. Anyway, subscribe, please, if you enjoyed this video. Um, I have a lot of more fun videos coming up. I have so many good ideas. Uh, so, just, you have to trust my judgment and subscribe if you're not already. Um, but also, make sure you follow my Instagram, at Cup of Jordy. I'm on there all day, every day, right? We like to annoy... I am the person on Instagram that has the dots, you know, like the, um, like 20 dots of their story, but like I said, whatever. I just have a lot to say that no one cares about that I don't even know what I'm saying, but anyway, I just need to stop this. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you.